mycelia stage for breast cancer, but you know, we all are human, so in our lives, we all have fights and we all fight something. The first day I met Elise, I was astounded by how beautiful she was. Elise was this incredibly beautiful, but also an incredibly talented person who had tangible gifts like being able to sing and being able to dance, but also intrinsic qualities like love for people, discernment for folks in their character and, and being able to see their needs. So Elise was my twin sister. Um, uh, I was born first, but I, I'm a minute early, or a, a minute older than she is. We have always been close when we were kids. Of course, you know, sisters. I miss, I miss our company. It's a huge void in our home, a huge void in uh, the kids and, and my life. Um, but I still have those memories of her that I can hold on to and, and think about and, and cherish and, and in a weird way find joy in thinking about the uh, memories that we share. The thing that made me most proud of at least her ability to um, always see the good in things, no matter the situation. She had like a fatty deposit in one of her breasts, and so she had to get that removed, and so that was, the, there was no cancer then, so that's what we thought it was. And when they sent out the um, biopsy, they realized, oh gosh, it's stage four uh, metastatic. Before she left, she had this idea uh, to help others through their struggle. And so our attempt to continue that, to, to bring her idea to life, is a way that we can continue her legacy. Pink Santa hat, the message is uh, that you can fight through the challenges that you have. Our Pink Santa Hat Foundation is a foundation that our family started to help educators who are fighting breast cancer. I think that educators have a lot of pressure on them, so I, we think that educators have to be encouraged and stay encouraged. Educators were important to Elise because our family, we're pretty much full of educators. I'm an educator, my mom, my husband, uh, my brother-in-law, my sister, she was an educator, and education is just um, something that we believe in. And so we know how hard it is to be an educator, and then you put a vicious disease on top of being an educator. I had an idea back in April, I had just ran a 10-miler um, in Washington, D.C., and I said, um, wow, look at all these people. This would be a great way to raise money for our foundation. So I texted my mom and my sister and I said, you know, let's do a 5K. Uh, we have an event where we'll be bringing women uh, who are battling breast cancer to Atlanta. They'll actually uh, have a photo shoot. First of all, they'll get um, made up by a makeup artist. Then um, we'll have a photo shoot. Then they'll be able to go to the spa. Uh, we'll take them on a shopping spree. And then we end the night with a night of inspiration. Uh, and we actually have people who, women who have breast cancer, um, they'll be coming to give encouraging words as well. Elisa's legacy is very important to us, and so it's important to us to um, encourage people because that's what Elise did. We want to um, encourage the world to, even though we know we have ups and downs, to just keep fighting on because that's really what she believed in. You can't sit and wallow in it. You can't wonder why me. Um, just continue to live life without regret. If you want to take a trip, take a trip. If you want to, um, you know, buy an expensive purse, buy an expensive purse. Enjoy life while you're still here. She was just such, so strong and such a fighter. It really like made her want to encourage people more. It made her um, be closer to the Lord. Like she always said, God, I know you have a plan for my life. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna still serve you. He told me that this is how I will share with the world of his great works and his healing power, and this is how I encourage people, you know, to not give up and to believe in him and to know that he's good. Even though you may be going through some really awful bad things, you can still trust God's promises and you can still know that he loves you and that he, he cares for you and that he's still God and he's still good regardless of your situation.